Okay, um, I'm going to take you through some just a basic um, technique for doing lino cut. I've just taken a photo of myself on Zoom for one of the easy subject matter. Um, this was a colour photo, but I've just taken it into Photoshop. And all I've done in Photoshop is inverted it. So the original photo is like this. I've inverted it so that it's reversed, flipped that way. And then I've used threshold to take out all the tonal contour, all the tone in there, so that it's purely black and white. So this is a black and white image now. Um, it can be really helpful to do something like that. You can also do this where you um, invert or flip the um, the image so that you've got a negative. I find it easier just to stick with um, just this, the straight image. What I've then done is on the back of the image, I've just used a grey lead um, to to shade like that over the whole image. And then I've taken that, flipped it over onto a um, sheet of lino and simply traced that out. I've used a biro because I can, there's a, it's a different color so I can see what, where I need to do the marks. And that will then trace it out. Now that traced it out as a gray lead. So um, like, just do a little bit here. So you can see, and you can see how that's, um, hopefully you can just make out the marks. Um, so I've done, I did that, and then I used a permanent marker to, um, to mark out the images that were like this. So that I ended up with my lino with very clear markings indicating what's white, what's black. Now, what I have to to actually cut away though is the white areas so I'm going to leave the black areas and that's where that can be handy because you can carve away the areas that you don't you know the, the dark areas but it's up to you how you um, can see that now I'm working on I've just got a bit of that um, non-stick surface um, I'm working on that it's not bad as a non-stick um, you can use uh, alternatively use um, one of these which will just sit against the, the base and that will support and that's really firm but also slightly in the way so I'll just um, I'll just work here um, using you know there's a variety of different brands of simple lino carving tools um, they will do the job really well absolutely um, perfect for what we need um, and I'm going to start the actual the actual carving so I have to remind myself that I'm working on carving out the green so I'm going to remove the green now the drawback of doing that is that is that um, the underside is is dark so it's going to be look completely dark when it's when it's completed now a couple of tips and tricks most important thing is we don't want to have a hand here because we don't want to stab ourselves um, and have to go to a and e so we need to be careful with that and we also want to all the time be working away from from ourselves so i'm working away from and I'm keeping my hand um, my spare hand back and behind the action so the other thing that I'm doing is I'm moving the plate so that I'm I'm working in the direction that that I need to go um, you do need to fish out the little bits as you go along. It's a bit of a nuisance, but it's just how it is. Now, when you have a large area like this, or, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work on, say, this here. What you can do is you can go along first to get the edge. And hopefully what you notice is I'm keeping my tool nice and flat. So I'm not... I'm not digging down like that. I'm just keeping it nice and flat. 
and I'm just going to work around that bit. I'll come back in and do that in a minute. So now I've got a big flat area. I'll just do this bit as well. Like that. I can then swap to a shallow tool. So a wide shallow tool. And what that will do is it will take out a much wider area. And it's going to stop up here because I've already made a mark this way, like that. So that's a nice, easy way to get rid of large areas without too much drama. And it's quite satisfying. If it doesn't cut, you can just come back along and um, trim with that. It's just that that hasn't been super deep, so I could just deepen that a little bit. So you can see how I can work with that. And so they're, they're quite easy, those, those larger scale bits. But um, the finer details, we want to use a finer V shape. So that's the U shape that I was using to do the large areas. For the finer areas like these, we want to use the V shape and reduce the pressure that you're putting as you finish each little section because that way it'll um, it'll come off without being too dramatic. Like that. You don't have to cut particularly deeply. Um, it's just got to be away from the surface. And you would always do a, a proof print to just test whether you're on the right track anyway. So, um, that will help a bit. And so on. So I'm gonna carve that away and um, in, the, in the next video we'll, we'll go on to um, doing a, a test proof and see how it goes. So a couple of things to remember, safety first, safety is the most critical thing, so we want you to be totally safe, always cutting away from yourself, not digging in and gouging great big deep, um, deep parts, we want just that nice smooth. Now sometimes if you're doing detailed areas, you can rest your left, um, your, your left hand like this, like I've got there. And that's quite good because it just gives you a little bit of additional support um, when you're doing really fine um, stuff. So it's just giving you a little bit more um, control, which is good. Um, make sure you get everything out of there as you go. So um, I don't know if you can see that without all that shine on there, but that's that part there is just cut away and this part here is cut away. It doesn't take too long, depends on how much you've got to do. You do need to be really conscious about ergonomics. So, you know, this is a process whereby you're inclined to really hunch your shoulders. So periodically step back, good light. I've got a, I've got a lamp on here, good light, better done during the daytime regularly roll your shoulders back, stand yourself nice and straight um, so that you don't get too hunched. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, okay, so I will continue on and I'll catch you later.